everybody! So today I'm going to be filming a video that has become very highly requested and it is the products that I use to style my own hair. You guys see, see me use a lot of Kevin Murphy at the salon when I style clients and that is because I am a Kevin Murphy salon and I love all of their products but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of diversity. I still have Kevin Murphy here because I love it so much but I wanted to show you that there are other things that I use that I like as well that I use on my own hair. So without further ado, let's get going with this video. Okay, so first I wanted to talk shampoo and conditioner, and since I became a Kevin Murphy salon, I will not use anything else on myself or my clients shampoo and conditioner wise. It makes your hair feel like silk, it feels so, so soft, so good. When I use anything else, I'm like, oh my gosh, my hair feels like crap. So I am a firm Kevin Murphy believer now. <laughs> Now, the great thing about Kevin Murphy is that no matter what product you use of theirs, it is extension and color safe, so everything's sulfate free, everything's safe if you have colored hair, extensions, which I love because if you have curly hair and you want to use their curly shampoo but you have extensions and you're like, oh no, does it have sulfates, you can use it, it's totally safe. So my favorite Kevin Murphy shampoo and conditioner is the Hydrate Me Wash and the Hydrate Me Rinse. Now this is great because the Hydrate Me is something that's pretty universal. Most everyone can use it. I really like it because it gives my hair hydration, but it doesn't weigh it down too much. I feel like everyone's hair can use moisture, especially where I live in Utah, it gets pretty dry. So this is by far my favorite shampoo and conditioner to use for my own hair. So these are what I use for like regular shampoo and conditioner on a daily basis. Not daily because I wash my hair once a week, but if I'm just wanting hydration and regular shampoo, this is what I use. And all you blondes out there know how important it is to keep up on your purple shampoo. I love the clients that really understand how important it is to be blonde and use purple shampoo or conditioner. It keeps your blonde really healthy, really vibrant, shiny looking. It doesn't go too yellow or too orange. It tones it for you at home, so that's why it's a must. So I like the Blonde Angel Wash and the Blonde Angel Treatment from Kevin Murphy. The Blonde Angel Wash is their purple shampoo. It's amazing. It doesn't dry your hair out like most purple shampoos do. I actually feel like it's really cleaning my hair as well as toning it which is super nice and the blonde angel treatment is my true love I am obsessed with it this is a conditioner treatment so you can use it as a deep treatment or just a regular conditioner and it is purple and it is so pigmented I really feel like it may be more pigmented than the shampoo which is amazing so a lot of times at the bowl I will wash my client's hair with like a hydrate me or an angel wash or whatever shampoo and then that gets all the product out of their hair like the bleach and the toner if I decide to shampoo after toning and then I just wash them with the or I condition them with the blonde angel treatment and it tones it and moisturizes it all at once and it's perfect. So I use this on my own hair as well and I usually just switch off using hydrate me and then the next time I'll use the blonde angel and that way I'm always purple shampooing my hair but it's every other time so it doesn't go too icy. I like my blonde to be icy, but since I have like a rooted look now, I kind of want it to look a little more natural. So I definitely need to tone it with purple shampoo, but I don't want it to be like icy blonde, so I don't do it every time. Okay, and another shampoo I wanted to talk about was the Kevin Murphy Maxi Wash. This is a clarifying shampoo, and I really like theirs because it's really gentle on the hair, but it does the job. A clarifying shampoo is very important to use. This is their Detox, which is about the same as a clarifying. It's really important to use like once a month just to like remove all the buildup and product out of your hair. It's awesome if you have extensions because a lot of times with extensions, you can get your hair clean, but d product does kind of build up in between the bonds. So if you you use this once a month it kind of purifies your hair strips out all of those products gets your hair to like a clean slate and then you have room to wash your hair with something normal so once a month I will use this on myself to refresh my hair and then since it is a clarifying it can sometimes strip color so you don't want to use this every wash so then right after this I will use my blonde angel treatment to tone my hair back down so that it doesn't look too yellow after using this okay so I love Amika. This is a brand that you can get at Salon Centric and I started using them a little bit before Kevin Murphy and I really really liked them. This is a more cost friendly product. This brand is a little more affordable than Kevin Murphy. Um, so this is a leave-in conditioner. 
or leave-in cream and it's amazing it's really lightweight it hydrates it smooths it's for all hair type so when I get out of the shower I will run this through my ends I'm careful to avoid my bonds since I do have extensions but I will lift my natural hair up and put it on the ends of my natural hair and then run it through the ends of my extensions and it really helps my hair air dry really nice and smooth so that way if I want it to air dry it's not too frizzy but if I do want to blow dry it it gets me a good prep for my blowout okay and let's keep this Anika train going so I also use their undone texture spray and I think using a texture spray is so important because it gives you those texturized beachy curls that I do every day let's be honest so what I will do is I will curl my hair and then before I brush it out before I put hairspray on it I'll run the texture spray all over my hair give it a little texture work it in and then what I'll do is brush through it and then I will hairspray it to set everything but this just gives you that little bit of extra beach wave look I really love it because I tend to curl my hair on the first day I wash it and then I'll wear it for like five or six days and it just gets looser each day so if it's a day where it's like really loose this texture spray will actually like kind of like pop it out a little bit and make it look a little more beachy so I really like using that and then I set it with hairspray so I really like the Amika dry shampoo as well this is probably one of my favorite dry shampoos I've ever tried I do like Kevin Murphy's fresh hair but I also like to have um, products like this that I can recommend that are a little more cost-friendly like I was saying and this is amazing you do not sacrifice any quality for the price it's not like it's dirt cheap it's still a good price but it is less than Kevin Murphy but this is the perk up dry shampoo and this works so well and what I love about Amika is that they have a dry shampoo and they also have a dry conditioner I don't have it with me but I have it somewhere I just can't find it um, so I have the dry shampoo and I'll use that in my roots and it really works but if you think about it most of the time when our hair is oily or greasy it's oily up here but then our ends are kind of dry especially if you have extensions so I'll use my dry shampoo in the root area and then I'll use the dry conditioner everywhere else because it kind of makes it feel silky and moisturized so that your hair feels clean from root to ends. Okay, and then I have two different hairsprays that I like to use and I alternate depending on the style I'm going for. So this is the Amika, Amika Touchable Hairspray and this is a great hairspray. It holds in place but it's really lightweight so touchable means you can like run your fingers through it. It's not going to go anywhere. So I really like that if it's just like a casual loose curl day or even just straight hair I'll just kind of mist this over and it keeps it in place but it doesn't make your hair feel stiff. And then the other hairspray I like to use is the Kevin Murphy Session Spray. This is just the mini. They have a full size one as well and I use that at the salon. But I just stocked up on minis at home because I don't have storage for all the big ones. And this is a Stronghold. And I really like this because it does keep your styles in place. It's a little more, I wouldn't say crunchy, but a little stiffer in your hair. Which I actually personally like because I have some baby hairs that stick up. And I like to use this because it really like holds them in place. So if you're going for like extra tight curls and updo a ponytail something that you want to stay in your hair all day, I would recommend the Session Spray. Okay, so I am now realizing that most yeah, all my products are either Kevin Murphy or Amika, and that's because I just love both of those brands so much. It's not to say that I don't own any other products. I actually have a huge product drawer full of like Moroccan oil, um other products that I've used, I can't remember right now, but I, I, I do have other things. I just tend to use these more because they're my favorite lines. So I'm sorry about that. If you guys want, I can do like a product haul where I show you everything I have, but that would probably be a really long video. <laughs> so anyway, I like the Young Again Oil from Kevin Murphy. And this oil is really nice because it's like thick and it's heavy, but it's not heavy in your hair, if that makes sense. It feels really lightweight, so it's like heavy on your hand, but lightweight in your hair. So I use that through the ends of my hair just to keep my extensions moisturized and hydrated. And I also use it through the tops of my own hair too. Oil is a must when you have extensions. I use it every single day. Okay, next is the Kevin Murphy Shimmer Shine. And this is a great product. I don't use it every single day. It's more for special occasions. It gives your hair a shimmer, just like it says. It puts like a sparkly, like dusty film on your hair. I know that sounds really weird, but it's super pretty if you want like a prom updo or you're doing something a little more fancy or you just kind of want to sparkle on a night out. This is really great. And this is the gold one and I'm super excited because they just released a purple one and that one's better for ashier toned blondes because the gold can sometimes make your hair look gold. So I'm excited to try that one, but this has been great if I just want like a little extra shine in my hair. 
Okay, now I have Kevin Murphy Easy Writer, and this is just like a defining anti-frizz cream, and this is awesome for like my little baby hairs. I feel like a lot of blondes have this problem. We have breakage around our face, around here, because it's the most fragile area of our hair, and a lot of times we get baby hairs and wispies and flyaways. This is the greatest stuff ever. I will just run a little bit through my hands, and then I'll just run it over anything that I feel like is coming up or a wispy, and it just keeps everything in place. And then sometimes I will also rub it through my hands and then just run it through the bottoms of my hair and it kind of just keeps my curls in place without making it feel too sticky if that makes sense so I would die without this stuff I use it every single day and I love it so much <laughs> okay and the two brushes that I use are of course the wet brush I just have the regular paddle brush I love this so much this is a must if you have extensions or just hair at all because as we knew growing up we were taught never to brush wet hair because it can pull on the hair and your hair is more sensitive when it is wet so the wet brush is amazing because you can brush your hair get through the tangles but still keep your hair healthy so the wet brush is awesome and it's good on dry hair too I love it so much and then I also have the wet brush detangler and this is nice if you feel like you don't necessarily want to brush your hair this just kind of glides through your hair when it's wet and it's awesome and I also will use it to kind of like separate my curls and then sometimes I'll also use it as like back combing so I'll back comb my curls or back comb my hair up here and these are honestly like the two brushes I only ever use on my own hair Okay, so now for the tools that I use for my own hair. This is my flat iron, and this is the Paul Mitchell flat iron. And the reason I bought it is because it was rose gold, because I'm a sucker for that. But I actually really, really love it. It's a very smooth iron. It doesn't ever tug on my hair. It makes my hair feel soft and smooth and shiny, and is by far one of the best flat irons I've ever used. And then you guys probably know this if you were a watcher of my videos, but the Babyliss one and a fourth inch curling iron is my ride or die, my go-to curling iron. I love it so, so much. And I use this on my own hair almost every day. Um, the cool thing about this iron is that you can curl your hair one day and I literally will just sleep on my hair in two low ponytails and then the next morning I'll take it out and my hair still has curl from the day before. And with each day it just gets looser and looser. So by like day four, I just have like these perfect texturized beachy waves and this iron just holds curls so well. I will say I have hair extensions and hair extensions hold curls super well so that could be part of it but I just feel like this holds extremely well. I only ever have to touch up a few pieces around my face every morning so this is great. And the other iron that I use is the GBP one inch wand and this is really great. I used to use this constantly before I opened my salon and I was working at my other one. This is all I ever used and I loved it. And then I found the Babyliss and I just kind of started using that more, but it doesn't mean I don't love this. I will use this when I want a tighter curl or if I'm doing like a certain type of curl or I need like more body for an updo or something. This is so great and this holds really, really, really well. So if your hair does not hold curl, this will be your best friend. It's just the one inch iron you just wrap it around your hair let it hold and then I kind of hold it in my hand and let it go that probably wasn't the best demonstration but this is so great and I feel like I can wear my curls for three or four days with this as well Okay, you guys, so that's pretty much everything that I use on my own hair. As you guys know from watching my videos, I usually have my hair in loose beach waves like I do today. Sometimes I'll wear it straight like once a month. Sometimes I'll do braids. I wear a lot of hats. So I don't change my hair up very often. I'm not very daring with trying new hairstyles, but I feel like I need to start doing that. So maybe I'll start doing like braid tutorials and stuff like that. But as far as what I use on like a weekly or daily basis, these are the products that I always have to have in my drawer. These are what I use most often. In. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am in a new house if you guys haven't been able to tell. I have one video in my old house and it was on my bed as well but me and my husband recently moved about two weeks ago and it was a lot of work but we're finally settled in so I just decided to film this at home. If you guys want a house tour then let me know because we have the cutest little house and it's finally all decorated so I'm so excited. Uh, so if you guys are interested in that let me know. As far as hair videos that I have coming up, I have a list of my beauty school series that I'm going to be continuing, and the next one is going to be products and tools that I use at the salon. So kind of like this, but more targeted for using on clients at the salon. That has been very highly requested, so look out for that video coming soon, as well as a few other beauty school series videos. And then I have a salon tour coming as well. I have changed so much in my salon, and it has been crazy, but it's finally almost done. So as soon as it's done, I will be filming an updated salon tour for you guys. So if you guys liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know what type of videos you want to see in the future, whether they are at home videos or at salon videos. Give me your opinions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Have a good day.